five tiers that's going to stabilize from here, and then we're going to lean forward. So Shane is up, and he's very good at standing. He does a good job of finding his balance point, which is really what he needs to do with the device. He's in charge of the balancing and shifting his weight, just like you and I do on autopilot every day. When we walk, we transfer our weight from side to side. He's going to do that a little bit more um, consciously, but he does it very well in a way that is pretty normal and very mimics normal gait um, very closely. So Shane is using automatic walking, and he's going to initiate that using the touch interface on his right hand. That's his first step. So as soon as he's reaching certain lateral targets, and he has some residual muscle function, so he's able to pull his leg through. So he's initiating steps through his muscle function and also through achieving a lateral facial target that we set for him. And he's like, like to be Michael Jackson friends. <laughs> so Shane, why don't you walk back and then we can say a little bit about yourself. And... So what Jen was saying there is Unless, unless Shane goes through and, and positions his body over that next step, it won't take that next step. It's waiting for him to do the transition. So he's driving. He can stop at any time. He can start at any time. It's all completely up to you. So hi, I'm Shane. I started using um, about a year and a half ago. I got into EXO for the first time. And you know, like Russ said, you know, I think I took about 500 steps you know, to see this device. Uh, I think I was in rehabilitation for about two weeks and at the hospital I was, I was doing my inpatient rehab at in Connecticut. They had a demo of one of these. So, you know, right then and there I saw, you know, all right, you know, I'm not gonna be confined to my wheelchair. I'm gonna be standing, I'm gonna be walking. I'm gonna be able to work on my recovery. And, you know, I think that half of what EXO brings to the table is, you know, the psychological aspect, you know, to look people in the eyes again and to be on that same level, you know, you don't ever think about being in a wheelchair, you know, you're so low that you're kind of in your own world. So, you know, just being able to, you know, do the same things that you used to do, you know, before your accident, you know, it, it definitely, you know, it's, it's a game changer. I mean, it gives you so much hope, you know, that, that spinal cord injuries are going to be a thing of the past one day. 